wanted to show you a new feature in Business Central. In some of the older versions, uh, this can be enabled back about 18.3, something like that. This is available to be enabled. But let's say we have the chart of accounts and we'd like to have a listing of some of this data in an Excel spreadsheet. So on some of these screens, we can just edit in Excel. But on others, like this particular screen, you'll see that I don't have an option to edit in Excel or to open in Excel on any of these tabs. So what I can do in this new feature set is I can print the chart of accounts. And we've always had the ability to send this to a document. So I'm going to send this to an Excel document data and layout. This is the old way to do this that's always been available we'll see that you get formatting in this. So it's formatted like the report, actual printed report is. On some reports, this can be useful. On other reports, it's, it needs so much reformatting in Excel that it's difficult. So you can see here what this looks like. I've got formatting in there. I've got a lot of different uh, data points. I've got totals in there. So this is not exactly the way I would want it, not to mention that with this formatting, heading, and such in there, it can be difficult to use. So there's data that goes behind that report, what we call the data set. And so if we go up here and we go to reports and print the chart of accounts, and instead of choosing this option, which is the one that's always been available, we'll choose data only. And when we get this, this is actually the data that's behind the report, the data that the report is built on. And so when this comes up, you see we have a lot of extra data that we'll have to delete, but we also have the base data that we need in a tabular format in Excel, which is going to be much easier for us to work with. That report format, this export to Excel, is not just available on the chart of accounts. So let's take a look at another report, the Purchase Order Status Report. And notice that if I do Send To here, I also have this Microsoft Excel document, which is going to give me only the data that's on that report. So it can be a lot easier to use in Excel um, in this format than if we get all the formatting that's also part of the final printed report. And again, you can see we get some extra data like the report titles, but we also get dollar amounts, purchase lines, that sort of stuff. And we can just remove the stuff we don't need. The last report I want to look at is an aged accounts receivable report. Sometimes this format is not necessarily as useful as the printed report or the report with the data layout. And so we'll take a look at this. And you can see here that we do get aged accounts receivable data. What we're seeing here, these are just titles that are in the report. And we get an aging. So this may or may not be as useful as the report, but you can see you do get the raw data that the report is created from. So that's that feature. It's a nice little new little feature that you may find useful. Bob Palmer has been your host. You can reach Bob at Data Guidance Group by email or phone. Email bobp at dggic.com. Phone 1-901-922-6555. Thank you for watching.